Breaking news, my wonderful people. See exactly what is going on. See exactly what is happening right here and now. We can't continue, you know, to allow some people to deceive us. They said the evidence, okay, of the, what the U.S. have as an allegation against the Chinibu drug case is um, this, is that. That is Festus Kiyamu. It's coming now to tell Nigerians that, you know, the evidence is not, uh, is not tenable. But see, see as it speaks on it, everybody can see that, you know, this guy is trying very hard to make a convention that may not, you know, see the light of day. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details as we see what exactly is going on here with all that is being alleged and what Festus Kiyamu thinks he's trying to do, you know, in trying to justify why Tinubu you know, was, whether it was a drug, you know, dealer or whatever, you know, let's get all the details. The evidence of U.S. that the U.S. government have against the Tinubu's alleged drug case and money laundry is not something that we can take and hold very dearly, Festus Kiyamu says. The spokesperson of the Tinubu campaign organization, Festus Kiyamu San, has stated that Bola Ahmed Tinubu was never indicted for drug-related offense in the U.S. and it is widely spread. He said the mischief makers are trying to spoil the name of Bola Ahmed Tinubu. They are trying to do everything they can to get him involved in drug and put him in a daring corner. Analyzing the affidavit that's are that are trending on social media, he said the dependence Kevin Moses, who was a special agent of the U.S. Internal Revenue Service, alleged that Tinubu was involved in trafficking of heroin and his allegations were made in hearsay. He never had it or got it from him. Speaking further, Festus Kiyamu said that the whole evidence of Kevin Moses was related to drug dealing is as useless as a tissue paper. And that if Tinubu was truly convinced for drug-related offenses, the U.S. government would not return, would not have returned some part of the money and only take four hundred sixty thousand dollars. Those who are saying Tinubu was a drug addict and he was into drug allegations are only saying so to spoil his name. Nigerians should please disregard this and not listen to these people. They should never listen to these people. These people just want to spoil Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. They just want to ensure that he never gets to the place he wants to because they know he's going to turn Nigeria and save the country. So this is what is happening right now, my people. This is what is going on, and you can see for yourself. First, Oskeyamu is saying that um, Nigerians should not, uh, they should not bother to you know, go ahead and be trying to investigate what the U.S. okay said about Tinubu with regards to the uh, to the to the uh, drug allegation case. That if it was more than that, uh, the U.S. would have done more. Eh? Uh, that um, people should not listen to those matters, to those issues. They should rather focus, you know, and know that um, if Tinubu have any case in the U.S., it would have been blown, and the whole world would have known that the affidavit and what is being speculated and going on. You know, uh, it's not something uh, that people should pay attention to. If you know Festus Kiyamu, in, please, I, I crave your indulgence. Festus Kiyamu, in 1999, by himself with his own self, nobody, nobody held him. Nobody, you know, spoke about, nobody called on him. He used his own money. Okay, he, he, he used his own money, took Tinubu to court fought Tinubu dance down still, yeah, saying this guy is not qualified to be the, the governor of a state. And he said he has reasons. He has reasons that this, that, and guess what? You know, it got to the time that all the Supreme Court could say was that the House of Assembly in Lagos State should be the one, okay, should be the one to ensure that, uh, the, to, to look into the Tinubu's case. 
And within days, they came out to say, oh, they have cleared him. But the team pained him in no small way. He was very angry. He was very, very angry, you know. But he wrote a, a, a message saying he has done his bit. He find out that this guy is not somebody that is trustworthy, that Nigerians could, you know, put their hands on and depend upon. Uh, he does not see that as something necessary, uh, blah, blah, blah. And he said those things. He said those things. And today you can see for yourself. The same person has, just like the dog, has gone back to his own very vomit. The same person, not a different one. The same person. And then you stand there, you tell me that, oh, no, everything is going on well. They are doing very well. Uh, no, no, no. For a leader, somebody who stands as a role model, somebody who stands in such a position, if there are, if there are itches about such an individual, it should be investigated. It should not be swept under the carpet. It should not be pretended as if nothing of such came up. No. It must be deliberated. It must be spoken about. Okay? It must be spoken about. People must know what's going on. People must know exactly what's going on. People must understand it. So these are some of the things that are happening. And why we all together must ensure that we are rising up to the occasion. And we are ensuring that things are done decently and in order, not for one but for all. Let's do everything humanly speaking possible and bring Nigeria to where it ought to be. Let's bring this nation to where it ought to be. Let's change Nigeria today. Let's do everything we possibly can. Don't think that you can sit back there and expect everything to change. Remember, you have a voice. Remember, you have a voice. We all must contribute meaningfully and bring about a change for this country, for this nation. Because at the end of the day, okay, at the end of the day, every one of us must come out of this victimization that politicians have brought upon us. We are not victims, you see. Don't allow yourself to be victimized by them. That's what they love to do. That's what they love to do. They are victimizing us and taking over and, and thinking that we'll just be silent and allow them to do what they want to do. No, not anymore. Not anymore. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. And that's why every one of us, every one of us must bring out, you know, the, the, the right flavor and ensure we have the right leaders. Have a fantastic day. God bless. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Bye for now. Bye-bye.